Uh, wait a minute. So Nike released another pair of sneakers that featured Nike React technology, but they didn't put it anywhere on the box, and it doesn't say anywhere on the shoes that they have Nike React. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on the brand new Nike EXP X14 SE. What is going on guys, Hess here, collectivekicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description. And if you guys wanna buy a pair of these, feel free to do so as well. They run about $120 to $130. They do feature Nike React technology and they do fit true to size in my opinion. So first of all, I need to know what this even stands for. Look up Nike EXP X14 SE sneakers. Here's what I found on the web for Nike EXP X14 SE sneakers. All right, there they are. So this is what Nike says. It says that these shoes draw inspiration from the Zoom Vaporfly Elite. The Nike EXP X14 SE men's shoe races off to the tracks and onto the streets with a fast design and shape. The Nike React technology delivers lightweight durability and a smooth feel while the layered upper showcases the flywire cables and the bold just do it tagline. So you're telling me this is a lifestyle shoe that's themed after the Zoom Vaporfly Elite? Bruh, you, you already did that. I mean, it looks closer to the Vaporfly 4% in my opinion, so maybe I'll just leave those right there. At the end of the day, I think that this might be a pair of sneakers that you guys might miss out on just because of the poor branding of the shoe and the lack of direction and understanding what this shoe is actually for. It looks like a performance shoe, but it says it's actually for lifestyle. At the end of the day, I don't really care what you call it, but it's worth trying on your feet because once you do, you will realize that this is one of the better pairs of Nike React sneakers to land on your feet if you're looking from a casual perspective. In my opinion, the React in here is much more felt than in the Epic React as well as the Odyssey React. It's almost in line with the Vapor Street, but there's an added bonus to that because the Vapor Street was awesome. One of my favorites from the overall aesthetics of the shoe, but that little crazy small little traction pattern back here was enough to drive you nuts because it was so narrow. And on the EXP, it's a bit wider than on this shoe. So I like that they added some width to the shoe. The other major problem that the other React shoes have had is the lack of traction on the bottom. But these have quite a bit of traction on the bottoms and I think that this is gonna be one of those shoes that a lot of people just need to give a try. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the shoe. As you can see, the upper has the same sort of crazy materials that the Element Reacts have. Literally the same materials as on here. You just can't see it as well because of that extra layer of white underneath there. You can see this section exposed, however, because this is on the top of that underneath layer. So it's kind of misleading, but when you get them in hand, it's like, oh, that's kind of cool that they ended up doing that. They don't have that super clear look to it that these ones do, and some people might not really like that look, so this is a great uh, alternative to that. You do have fly wire that pokes through and then grabs the laces, and then you have a bunch of orange Mike and Ikes just riding down the front of the shoe. One of my coworkers had Mike and Ikes today, and like, I kind of wanted one, so maybe that's what I see. As for the midsole, you have an orange stripe that comes down here, and that sort of represents a carbon fiber shank that's underneath right here in the Zoom Vaporfly 4%. This doesn't have any carbon fiber though. As you can see, you can bend the shoe backwards. This one, you can't do that. I got the JDI version, which is just do it. You can see it just says it right here. And then you have a softer kind of felt Almost neoprene-ish, but felt type material on the back section here where the orange is and a Nike swoosh. It says EXP X14 on this really soft felt uh, material. And then it kind of makes it into a heel tab, but it's really, really flimsy. You could probably fold it down if you wanted to. Right along the Hyperfuse, there is some branding on the shoe. I honestly don't know what the heck it means. Uh, you guys can check it out if you guys want. It's almost like they try to do some like off-white sort of thing with it, but... I don't think it really necessarily works. It's really small, but insignificant. And then you have the tongue, which also features the downward facing Nike logo, which is something else that we did see recently on the Element React. So kind of odd that Nike's doing that. Maybe the downward facing logo means that these are for lifestyle because both of these have it. The only one that doesn't have that is this one, which is also for lifestyle. So I don't know. At the end of the day, I'm really happy because Nike's released three awesome shoes with Nike React, even though they don't have a lot of branding on these two shoes with React. This one was kind of the one that everybody's migrating to, but this is a really great alternative to this pair of sneakers. And if you don't like that see-through, this is probably gonna be a better way to go. The overall comfort is actually really solid on both of them. As for the React midsole, you can see it has sort of a crazy little pattern all over the place. 
And it's odd because the wrinkles are so prominent in most of the other shoes. And this one you might not have as much of a problem because of the placement of the React. Honestly, I really like the way that these feel on feet thus far. And it's one of my favorite Nike Reacts out of the group. Anyways, my final thoughts on the EXP X14 SE. I think that this is a really good shoe. $120, $130 price point is really, really solid for what you get with the shoe. And I think Nike kind of dropped the ball on it. It felt like this is one that they could have actually sold more of and maybe created a better story about the shoes and the ones that were releasing. But obviously they have like 10,000 shoes that they're releasing like every other week. So maybe this is just one of the ones that go to the wayside. But for what you're getting in the shoe and the delivery of the shoe, I actually think this is a great purchase and well worth the $120. Again, if you guys want to buy a pair, check the link in the description. I was happy to be able to buy my own pair and give this a try. And thank you to you guys out there that kept pushing me and telling me to finally give them a try because a lot of people said that I would really like these. I saw the comments and the tweets and the Instagram posts that you guys tagged me in. And the more I see of that, then the more it leans me to try to actually purchase the product. And that's what I did in this case. And I'm really happy that I did. I didn't actually even know that these had React in them. That is the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new to my sneaker channel, hit that subscribe button, notification bell if you want to be notified of when the videos go live. And if you guys found the video informative, please hit that like button. It definitely goes a long way. And at this time, if you guys want to click any of the other videos on the screen, feel free to do so, or just go to my channel and browse through the most recent videos. Thank you again for watching. More videos soon. Peace, guys.